Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while that we haven't uploaded our latest video because of the typhoon of the Filipino up there affected by the typhoon. Hopefully, they bounce back and they get up and move on and start a new beginning. Okay, so shout out to my supporters out there, uh, especially in California, USA and Ohio. Uh, Australia, Canada, and to all the OFW out there, so keep safe and be healthy. Okay, now today uh, we're gonna demonstrate on how to produce your own microgreens. So if you have empty container like this, so we will be using like um, some of this container and please prepare uh, at least three of this container, three variety of this container. So we have um, circle container and we have uh, a box type container or square type container and then the real uh, microgreens uh, tray. So we will be using uh, sprout seeds by Ramgo. Okay, this is not a sponsored video by Ramgo but this will be uh, the seeds that we're gonna use today. Okay, so first off be soaking the seeds okay we will be using the water and then after that after a few hours we will be putting the coco choir and then after putting the coco choir we need to water it again and then we have to uh, put the stone so that the um, last container will be pressing pressing the seeds okay so that the microgreens will not uh, go up or grow up so that they will be uh, they will grow uniform okay at as it is okay so let's start now um, first off um, we're gonna open this one okay so did you know guys that uh, before we start did you know guys that this is uh, this microgreens is 10 times more Okay, nutritious than the other one. Okay, the amount of vitamin E is 10 times, and especially this red mustard. Okay, and this one is amaranth. It is rich in vitamin A, B, C, and E as well. And the red red beet is healthy flavor packed with antioxidants, my uh, vitamin A, B, C, and E, and so also K, vitamin K. Okay, so it is great additional color to your salad, to your uh, dishes, or any of the food. And then last one is the alpha alpha sprout. It is the most significant dietary source of uh, protogen, pro proestrogens. Okay, so which are beautiful compounds in plant that helps reduce risk of heart diseases. Okay, so cancer and osteoporosis okay so the alpha and so we have again we have four varieties and then we will have to uh, demonstrate today how to prepare it so you know microgreens is very simple and all you need to have is if you don't have this one microgreens tray growing tray okay again you will be you are allowed to use the uh, empty containers you have at home okay and then we will be using coco peat 
okay, as a media, not a uh, tissue paper, okay. So without further ado, let's get into it, okay, let's go. So after soaking these seeds for a few hours, we will be doing the next step. We will be putting coco choir or coco peat inside these containers. So we prepare two varieties of seeds and uh, so that's why we have two empty containers. Okay, so let's go. We will be putting first a um, few only coco choir inside this container just a little bit uh, nice and do not press okay just put it nice and neatly and then uh, it is like one half inch in depth and then next container we will fill it up okay just a little bit and do not press hard okay all right so the containers are ready so we will be putting the seeds this is This guys is these seeds are ready. So this is red beet and then this is red mustard. So a while ago we are putting the coco wires on the empty container with a hole underneath so that the water will um, pass underneath. Okay, so let's go. So first off we have to put the red mustard. Okay. And then we have to spread all over the container, all throughout the container. Okay. And then the 
another one. Okay. This is red beet. Okay, we have to just a little bit more. And after this, you have to put another coco peat, another coco peat, just a little bit more, do not put lots of coco peat after, because it will not grow nice and smoothly. Another one. Last one. All right. So we are now down to our last part. So we need to have a clean container, and then we need to press this one and another one clean container. Oh, the wabot. Okay. So we dapat alsha abot chali. Okay. And then we will put the water. We will put the water underneath. Okay. Just a little amount of water. And then put the container and then you have to put another container okay so for two days and then put some wood okay so that it will press nice and smoothly and then this one okay so as you can see Okay, and then put the. Okay, so we need to remove uh, uh, the excess one. Okay, so just a little bit, a little amount of water, and then we put this one. Okay, so it's done. Okay, that's it. So we have uh, this finished product. Okay, all we need to do is to wait for seven days or eight days before harvest. Okay, um, we will be updating you from time to time. Okay, we will be posting some updates in the timeline. So you have to follow my channel. Don't forget to smash the bell button and subscribe. Okay. If you like this page, if you like the video, please uh, tick the like button and don't forget to share, okay? Goodbye!